Gen C podcast. Welcome to the Gen Z podcast. I'm speaking right I don't know like just just please cuz I know you're looking at me that's me. I do that the intro music you just had that is I was playing in his head. Okay. <laughs> I am the one of the co-hosts on the left hand side, Mr. JP Jackson. To my right is Mr. Riza. Oh, wait, the, the architecture of the room is different. Mm. It's like, ah, like, like <laughs> can I just say that's not how we're normally supposed to be. We're very close to each other today. I, I think um, can there's we, a... Can we make peace? Uh, <laughs> okay, it's fine. If uh, this is what you want. Sorry, man. Like, to the audio listeners. To the audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I did Welcome. keep consent. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just like <laughs> harassed him yeah. on camera. It's okay. That's fine. It's just me not trash. I just go myself. <laughs> wow, I'm so sorry, JP. Consensually. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, fine. So, it's over now. To, to my outright, yes. we have to witness that awkward interaction <laughs> <laughs> between two Brokeback brothers. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. Too much. It's 2023. Yeah, it's fine. It's actually rather too slow. But it's a spectrum. We have Shaina Links. Yes. Is that correct? Napila Khan. They are the Skinner Baker podcast, or two members of. Yeah. Right? So we decided to sort of like welcome you here, hopefully to get all three of you, but I mean... Two out of three is good. Less is more. Let's go with that. Less is more. So, um, yeah, welcome to the Gen Z podcast. Um, thank you for coming. All right. So, we want to sort of, instead of asking you the generic, like, who are you, you know, for five marks, I actually wanted to ask you guys to give a no. book synopsis <laughs> of each other. Like a short, just like, who is Shahina? Is and then who is Nabi? Like, do you know your friend? Do you, do you know? <laughs> okay, <your> please. <laughs> if you want, we can do it as well. I didn't prepare him. Like, throw him under the bus. If you want, we please can do don't. it. Okay, give us an example. Let's see. You do JP. Let's go. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you're so, five facts about JP. <laughs> JP's favorite things in you this world. This book, I know. <laughs> okay, go. It's fine. What's, I did not like, what, like what's, so, JP, so, what's JP's favorite oh, thing yeah, in this so, world? This is what I think. Because I don't yeah. know what JP does for work. <laughs> Every time I get this, I think JP is an accountant. I think he manages people. I think he works at international company. Uh, uh, I think. I think specifically, I don't know. Okay. Like I don't know specifically what that, like does okay. he work with sheets? Mm, mm, uh, yeah, okay. Probably Excel. Mm, mm. Probably not. Probably yes. Probably yes. Because oh, yes. <laughs> I obviously know him better than Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's first, you know, it's like... It's not looking good for you. It's yeah, not it's looking good. It's not looking good. good. Not looking I just you guys up for this. So, yeah, okay. so that's why I wanted to just, like, a quick sit down. <laughs> so, it's our podcast. Moving Get on, us. moving yeah. on. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll say Nabila is... Her love language is food. She will gas you up. But she'll also call it out on your cup, Ooh, love um, which I love that about her. Keep, always keeping it real. Oh. But she also, even though she'll call you out, it's always a safe space. Mm. Um, I love me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. She's amazing. Wow. That's so nice. <laughs> love to meet her. Uh, <laughs> love, love to, to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, my turn. Yes. Okay, um, Shahina uh, does not have a library voice, so it's very really hard <laughs> to skin her with her. Um, okay, again, it's very much what she said about me in terms of um, she's created a safe space for me where I am able to be 100,000% me and not ever feel judged or um, in any kind of way. I can yeah. say to her, Maybe I'm having these thoughts and I just want to, I need to say it because it's sitting with me yeah. and the feedback I get from her is, is mind blowing yeah, because it, it gives me this, um, a totally different perception of, um, what's going on in my head. Mm. 
And I love her so much for that. Oh, wow, we both getting lost. Um, because <laughs> she, <laughs> um, later, eh? later, she has said things to me. Um, one thing she said to me that sticks with me is, right, don't about the outcome. Oh, the don't be attached to, to the, the outcome. outcome. Which allows you to live in the moment there, right? In the moment and feel those feelings. And it's very hard. I don't know if we're over one minute yet. It's very hard to do so. But when you've got somebody who's literally holding you there, it's it's mm. fucking great. And we work together. We sit opposite each other. Oh, Sometimes wow. we do teams we, meetings. Yeah, we try to sit next to each other for a day. <laughs> Disastrous. Because <laughs> we did not work. <laughs> <laughs> one day, I, I lost it one day. I'm like, Nabila, yeah. I, I, I was fine. I, I was fine. We Let's couldn't go. stop talking. I said, yo, bro, you need to work. These people are yeah. watching you. <laughs> <laughs> so I moved back at the end of the day. I'm like, I think I'll sit this mm. But you know where back was? Across mm. from me. Yeah. So I feel like... What was the difference between me? I don't know. Yeah. No, it's the... It's the, the proximity. Yes. There was a... Because if it's in front of you, you have to actually get up and be like, hey, yeah. I want to say something. Yeah. Now it's like you immediately you have the direct communication. Yeah. So it is... I mean, I must be able to fully just hug my guy on camera. <laughs> so. yeah. And yeah. that's because there's no guest between us this time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Normally, there's a case between us. Yeah, yeah. as a foil to stop the. To stop the <laughs> <a> foil. So <laughs> 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 <a> foil. <laughs> Comfort, keep it in. You say. <laughs> that is wow. That is beautiful. I don't know if that was a book synopsis. Vibe. No, no, no. Yeah, it was it was a than yeah. anything I could mm. ever. Do. Don't be. What? Uh, what? The, don't be. Don't be attached. Don't to the attach outcome. yourself to the outcome. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Just when you get caught up in your head with, oh my God, but if I need to do this, then this can happen. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. But also don't attach yourself to someone else's outcome. Totally. Because (laughs) sometimes we, sometimes we do it based on other people's wants and needs and not what you want. Mm -hmm. And you end up betraying yourself. Correct. I agree. I agree. I love that. No, I'm still I don't know if Rizan is okay. Is this uh, now okay? So I, really, <laughs> I mean, uh, for, some, for some reason, for some reason, when 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 Rizan is so close to the kids, like he's, he, he just takes it all in, mm. and I'm an empath, and, and, yeah. and he, he, he needs some time to process. So, <laughs> so okay, just like peel <laughs> behind the curtain. So my therapist and I were recently did like an assessment, mm. right? And so it was like a, it's like a program of like five different categories of discovery whatever the case may be i'm not going to get into specifics because mm-hmm. I, I don't know if i'm allowed to but i basically found out that because a lot of my friends know me as very intellectual very analytical very logical so in terms of like between being head centered heart centered or gut centered like am mm-hmm. i emotional in terms of my decisions am i intellectual in terms of my decisions or am i like instinctual I'm emotional. Mm. That was like a big reveal for me that I like, I, and I mean like high percentage emotional. Like I, a lot of my decisions I make, I make off emotions, even though I come across as someone that's very in the intellectual, very mm. logical. You don't know me, so I'm just like, take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> just believe me. Sure. Uh, and then funny mm. enough, second to that is instinctual. So mm. I do actually have like a strong feel for things, a strong mm. gut towards things. And then finally, very low is intellectual, which is That's, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well. It just mm. means that you're probably, the, the decisions you make, your gut feelings is very, mm. very spot yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. Yes. That's interesting. Thank you for taking us on that. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Love that feel. Like, I'm like, mm. I don't even know. Sure. That's the emotional. You need some yeah. of coming out. <laughs> like, you need some of Let that. us know when you in the intellectual phase then. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll come. So the, come back so to the, us. Come so back to us. So what is very evident is your relationship together yeah, as a friend. Yeah. Um, which seems very strong. And apparently our relationship is also quite strong, even yeah. though it doesn't know what I do. But <laughs> yeah. but but why Skinnebick? What what made you your... decide on Skinnebick? Um so one day, so we we are always talking and okay. Shaina and I have a very similar um we fi- we in a very similar life phase in mm. terms of uh, dating and you know all of those non-dating. wonderful things non-dating that's what we do we non-daters mm. um and we were having a conversation and it was it was so heated and intense and we just felt like 
we need to we need to do something here. We need to. I want people to hear what we say. Okay. okay. I need people to hear what we say. <laughs> and I was not convinced that anybody was going to listen because yeah, we didn't. Other work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you why. you in the clear now? You yeah. in the clear? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I thought so because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> so um, we we were literally having a conversation. I said we need to do a podcast. And she was like, "Yeah, cool." And that's another thing about China. She'll just, "Okay, yeah. cool. That's what you need to do. Let's do it." Mm-hmm. Okay. Even this, she's Even like, this. I was like, "Yeah, let's go." <laughs> um, which is obviously I love that. Sure. <laughs> and then uh, we have a WhatsApp group, and then we sent Nika a message because she was not at work that day, and I think we recorded the first episode <laughs> um, <laughs> the next week, and the Skinner Baker was just. One of the first names yeah, we, we thought just went of, with it. and we just went with it because it's so good. Uh, it's we, so and it's good. not lit- it's not literally Skinner, you mm. know. But we we having co- and that's what people, our people refer yeah. to it as. You know, we need a Skinner session. Mm. We need to talk. Okay, let us talk yeah. here. Yeah, we need to so, kiki. Yeah, kiki. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> Oh, that's boss. You speaking like you just speaking there. So okay, wait, wait. Can I just walk back quickly? So um, talk about wait. What do you guys do individually? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you guys said you work together. What work is this? Don't tell me where you work. We, we can't okay. tell you. We work at a non-profit okay. organization in, in the Joe conservation Mimes. field. We actually volunteers. We don't get paid. Yeah. Oh wow. We're lying. We lying. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the rug from under you. You've been finished. We do get paid. We do get paid. We're mm. in fundraising. Okay. Yeah, we in the business development yeah. unit, and we have different functions within that unit. Mm. Yeah. And we love our jobs. We that's, yeah, that's we a, love our jobs. Statement. And I mean, it's so important to us to know that what we are doing, whether it's our work or playing or whatever we are doing brings us some form of joy because mm. what is the point if we're doing things exactly. that that give us nothing and you know the, the fact that the work we do is that we know it's for like it's a good cause yeah mm. so it's not just okay we need to beat last year's margins mm. you know it's more like okay mm. okay we need to save the planet guys. <laughs> we're bringing in the balls yeah. but we're saving the planet yeah. yeah my kids when people ask my kids what does your mom do no she's saving the world oh, you wow. know and i mean that's a big statement <laughs> but uh, i'm there i'm I mean, there yeah, 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 yeah. we are okay, yeah, totally yeah. if you want to go with that we're going with yeah that. So. And then the second thing is uh, the third member of the Nicks. Skinner Baker, Nix. Uh, she's not here, but you sort of want to just like say something on her behalf. Did she maybe send your WhatsApp? Like, if they're gonna ask about me, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, you go. You go. It was. It was a very um, unexpected okay. reason as to why she's not here today. So we thought until yesterday when I sent you that message, she would be here. Yeah, yeah. But. I think the three of us have such an amazing dynamic, yeah. you know, and we really feed off each other. Yeah. And what I love about these two is, when I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Say that yeah. <laughs> But Nick is the most articulate. Absolutely. Uh, like, yeah. I think I'm, I can talk and then I'm going for a tangent, but Nick is very, mm-hmm. yeah. keep you on track. In Just, order. Yeah, yeah. Not and, gonna lie, and I, I do hear that, but I don't want to say stuff like that because that sounds, well, anyway, continue. <laughs> That's saying, that seems to what? No, no, no. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Continue. Yeah. continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, is, is, I think he's referring to the actual podcast Yes, itself. no, totally. When it um, seems as if that's the, the persona that she played. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's why when she wasn't coming, I was like, girl, are we going to be okay? <laughs> 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 I said, if, if I don't know what I'm saying, you must come in. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and she's a communications person. I mean, that's her role, that's a, you know, uh, and it's very obvious. So, uh, as I was saying, the dynamic between the, th- uh, the three of us, is, mm. it's just, it's magic to So, me. I think it's, uh, I can relate to that a lot because I think a lot of the times, especially on this platform, we like I can come across as very serious yeah. in the, my demeanor <laughs> and how I speak about things. But Rizan's able to convert that serious conversation mm. into something that... It reaches more people. It's complimentary. It's just, no, I'm the uh, serious just... one. <laughs> I'm the... <laughs> He's the intellectual. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the third. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, no, we, like, is right. we have like a, a really 
almost like a not a fixed dynamic, but we have a, we have a standard. Like mm. we know like how we work together and stuff. Yeah. Like that. So I will say though that like. When JP is, when it's his episode, like when it's his leading the episode, I feel very, I feel like coming. Because yeah. I can just, you know, really like, yeah. <laughs> but then like the giant thing is that I just look ill prepared. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why are you even there? <laughs> <there?" laughs> <laughs> <laughs> just you. We were doing, do you know? <laughs> so, so uh, that's other thing. No, I'm going to throw you under the bus. It's fine. But it's also going to, it's going to come back to like a compliment. And then you'll get in the bus. Yeah, yeah. Then you'll yeah, get yeah. in the bus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm so, out now. Yeah, oh, under, 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 yeah. Under. So, so, so JP does this thing where like he, he always sells himself short. Then. Like he always like, no, mm. but I need this. Um, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Like he, 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 almost like he wants me to carry. The moment we get on a radio, mm. on a professional interview, then Borowski is open. Mm. Yeah, he is sure. He's so. He, he, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is a famous a person talking. <laughs> He sounds. He sounds like a, like like he's been doing this all his life. Like yeah. he's just like knocks. Off. But if you must ask him, wait, why did you start? Why did you start the podcast on his own podcast? And he's like, um, it's because <laughs> you know, <laughs> boredom. Yeah. 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 Uh, but they want, they want, like yeah. we went on the radio, whatever. And it's like so. Yeah. So because mm. I think he knows now. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like someone's sick of listening there <laughs> on the radio versus yeah. when they see like yeah, uh, the yeah. normal shows. Like ah, okay, this one's gonna talk. Yeah, <laughs> and you can skip, man. You can skip on the radio. You you listen yeah, live. Yeah. Yeah. Tight, this tight five is in there. Is, yeah. I mean, with us, uh, we our first episode. Oh my god, it was so embarrassing. Fucking chaos. We didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> Yeah. Mm. It was insane. It was yeah. insane. And Nikki did our editing. And I, I think it must have been so hard. Yeah. Right? I don't know how she... Um, and then I felt <laughs> as the episodes, as we recorded more often, it became easier. Yeah. Yeah. You know? You get more comfortable and yeah. confident. But yeah, the first one yeah. was... Right. You need that though. Yeah. First yeah. One you do. You so bad. <gasps> mm. So embarrassed. Yeah. But I mean, Same. it was fun. It was so much fun, right? Yeah, so, so just sorry, just walk through so, the yeah, this. Yeah, you have to, you have to. Boss. You have to. J, so JP <laughs> did this alone first. I know, that's so brave. Oh, I think, oh, wow. yeah, three months? About three, okay. two to three months. Like just and how often were you doing an episode? One a week, but okay. it, we would um like recorded at, at uh, some But it was really like, to be fair, he, formed, he did it in a way that was really like, okay, cool, you can just, have this bite-sized chunks and move on. Mm. Mm. Then it became like interview style, one mm. one on one, mm. like true interview style. Mm. Um, and now it's this where we're like mm. a whole talk yeah. show. We just like it's, it's like we vibing. Yeah. yeah. We but I think, like you said, if I didn't do the first part, I would not be comfortable mm -hmm. where I am now. Because I think that's the that's the biggest thing that we picked up is that this is unnatural. Mm. It, you don't. I don't speak in a mic every day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't but speak. It's here. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but it, but um, again, like I said, oh, when we were starting this whole thing, is like, in order for to see change, someone needs to do it. Absolutely. And if that needs to be me, that needs to be me. And I think for for a long time, I was expecting someone else to be that person. Sure. I was mm. hoping someone else would fill yeah. that space, which now we see a lot more people. Yeah. But I think if you can take that step to inspire someone else, why not? Absolutely. And I think a lot of the times, a lot of the spaces i was speaking about before didn't have people mm. that looked like me mm. and i think the more spaces we we can put we can put faces to people like that the better in whatever space whether it's podcasting mm. career wise or anything mm. so we are gonna pivot with the show today but i do want to sort of just touch on this last few things with regard to this kind of bigger podcast mm. so the first thing i want to talk about is just like so i listened um and i do think that you guys eat your stride um, throughout, and I just feel yeah. I feel like, nah, but like, when is it coming back? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about it. Um, <laughs> and I, and I, I do, I, I, I can. I'm gonna say this to sound weird. As an adult, as someone who gets super busy, I can almost appreciate like not being able to keep the commitment. Mm. But the, 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 the yo, talk about the mental health episode, right? That conversation was for me also like very very powerful mm. very very impactful mm. and so i you you mentioned just like wh wh why did you decide to talk about that why why was that important to you because um, no one was no one like <laughs> us was talking about it yeah, yeah. Mm. no one like us was talking about it and i have thoughts of <laughs> i have thoughts on it because yeah. like therapy helped me yeah. meds helped me yeah so i'm mm. like well maybe it helped someone else 
maybe one other person can be like, okay, why can't I then have therapy? Like so, I mean, a family <laughs> member literally told me I need to pray it away. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, huh? So, and then I explained to this person, I'm not going to throw this person under the bus, but yeah, I told this fine, person. They don't have to be JP. <laughs> you like, can call the person JP. If you have a heart attack, you go to a medical whatever, doctor. A doctor for that specific thing. You break your leg, you go see an orthopedic surgeon. I don't know. If your brain is something not liquor, yeah. surely you must go see someone about that. And mm. the way my therapist explained it, she was talking about there's an actual chemical imbalance in your brain. Like it's not even really in your control. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, the more your mind is not okay, it then affects the rest of your body. So mm. now you're going to have heart disease and other medical conditions really but because your mind isn't in the right space and the most amazing thing happened when i started taking meds like i think a week in my like a fog lifted and my brain it was and i'm like oh so this is what what it feels like (laughs) so this is normal i didn't even know how deep down in this rabbit hole i was Mm. until my mind got clear and i'm like wow i've been like this for like a long time yeah there's a, there's a sort of like another side to that where um, people who suppress their feelings with, say, substances or whatever the mm. case, jump, right? They, they <laughs> sorry. Not, not. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, don't get triggered. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> where, where, where it's like anything but that feeling. Mm. Um, you're also teaching your, yourself that like you can't be sad. And, and Absolutely. that's one thing mm. that has helped me is that like, giving myself the permission to just feel what I need to feel. Totally. I mean, Mm. I think you, I always say, just feel the feeling, Mm. whatever it is, you need to identify the feeling and sit with it. I say to my kids all the time, listen, what's up with you? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you frustrated? Irritated? What is it? Because when you identify what it is, you, you teach your brain to find a way to deal with whatever that is. So when it comes up again, it's a little bit easier. And just on what Shaina was saying with the mental health thing, I think, right. First of all, everybody is struggling. Okay. Mm. Everybody's in the fucking trenches. Okay. (laughs) And then getting to a point where, Saying, this is a normal man. Mm. I'm not supposed to feel like yeah. this. And then seeking help. But that um, barrier to seeking help because of what other people are saying to you about how you are feeling. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, but I think um, just to add to that, a lot of how we grew up was being told that why should you feel that way? Everything in your surroundings oh, is all good. Yes. It was, yes. You have yeah. this. These people are how, way worse how, than how can, you. How can, so it's almost as if you get to a point, like the first thing is getting to know how you feel. Exactly. Yeah. But now you got to that point, but now being told that, but why are you feeling mm, that way? Exactly. And I think a lot of the times we we say the way we feel to keep the other person happy absolutely and not and that not allowing thing. and not allowing yourself cuz if yeah. i feel a certain way you feel a certain way that's it yeah. it's not you don't need to justify it you don't mm. need to explain it you feel a certain way yeah. but yeah. now because you feel that way how do we go forward mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you shouldn't be giving me an answer based on what you think yeah. i should yeah. say to you absolutely. it's just how you feel and i think a lot of the times because of we grew up in spaces where you you have everything or mm. you have enough. You shouldn't be feeling There's that no way. There's no reason for you to feel There's no reason for you to feel that way when, in fact, you can feel the way you but feel. But then you're constantly invalidating your own feelings, mm. like all the time. And then you start, you it numbs everything down. Yeah. But that's why it's so amazing mm. when you said about your friendship was, she allows me to be my 100% myself. Mm. Because yeah. in spaces where you are able to be 100% yourself. And you are accepted you, and you, you feel can that. Feel you that. Know, and I totally. think that is that is really where you start working on these things. Mm, you start identifying yeah. that this is how I feel. Mm. And I think the more spaces we can create for our peers, for our friends mm. like that, you'll start seeing a whole different side of, of the person that you thought you think you know. Yeah, no, um, totally. And I think that that's amazing. But I think... Um, I don't know. So female friendships, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a man. I say what you want to but, say. Yeah. <laughs> but I think a lot of sometimes, yeah. a lot of the times I'm like, so f- women, we obviously from a young age, we've developed strong bonds. Mm. And we just, there was a point where I felt, are men even talking to each other? Are men having these conversations? <laughs> like, 
Because what are they when, doing? Growing, what are they when you're growing up and you were a little boy, you were a little boy and you fall down and you cry, oh no, no, don't cry, you were man. Like, what is, why are we constantly just pushing that narrative on our boys mm. and then they grow up and then we expect them to be these fully formed adults who mm. know how to handle and process their emotions. <laughs> but hi boy, you just told the three-year-old boy to not cry. <laughs> mm. And then he was like, okay, so I must just repress, repress, repress. repress. Mm. Oh, men aren't emotional, but the only emotion you express is anger. Mm. So you are emotional. Um, and Sorry, that, it's like, it's like I'm, I'm vibing. Keep yeah. Going, <laughs> and I think that... For me personally, I'm like, like you said, we should be having more conversations, mm. but I like when men are part of a conversation mm. because men generally don't <laughs> talk about their feelings. So I, I always used to compare to that, um, the, what the, 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 the compressor, the, the pot that you, um, pressure uh, cooker. Pressure the cooker. pressure cooker, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so eventually in the pressure cooker, that siren goes off. That yeah. tss, so the more we keep putting in and never releasing, yeah. that release valve is going to open whether mm. you like it or not. So at one point, you unexpectedly going to just start spitting. Yes, <laughs> and, yeah. and a lot of the times, or whether that happens when you're young or older, everything that you thought you did, you dealt yeah. with, you actually never did. Never, yeah. mm. It's just going to come out somewhere. And yeah. that's usually when things go a bit crazy. Right. But yeah. that was, oh, I mean, yeah. that was amazing. Because like, yeah. <laughs> I think my breakdown happened when things were calm. Yeah. Like mm. I hit all those milestones and then it's like, oh, okay, I got everything I wanted, but why am I not happy? Mm. And then I had to, then there was because there was a lot of quiet time. I'm like, oh shit, I must not sit with my feelings. Yeah. And I must think about my feelings. <laughs> and that's when things just like, that's when everything started happening. Because I actually, had, I wasn't just in this constant grind of I'm busy. I had time to think. And I'm doing the things. I'm doing the things. Yeah. And then I had time to like. think because I had a whole lot of freedom. <clears> I finished my degree. I got I had a good job. Everything in my life was fine. And then thing, I was like, oh, okay. So there's a lot of un unpack still. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. So we asked, yeah. we asked the audience this yeah. question Sorry. as well. Sorry. Is yeah. that not just the question that you asked? Yes. So just before we get there, <laughs> I just, no, no, just to close the loop, to close okay. the loop. So, so we said a lot there. Right, mm. and we we sort of also see that we have. I'm just missing here. We have a lot to say, and that's kind of why I was like making like a mini campaign, like now make a season two. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, but yes, but yes, I think like um, as long as these spaces start to sort of pop up and and exist, where people then they're like, oh, I'm ah, that's how I feel. Maybe I should get yeah. out. Mm. As long as that that becomes the narrative, because I, I I do notice that a lot more on social media. Um, we 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 could be fine. We will be fine, inshallah. I mean. like, um, right. So, <laughs> what JP is going to lead into now. So this is basically where we're going to take the rest of the the podcast. It's going to be a lot more light, the conversation, a lot more fun. Um, so we asked our so. audience. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we asked our audience on on social media um, just to interact with us, right? Mm. So the question that was asked was very sort of bluntly. That was at the right place, sir. Is what is your favorite genre of books of stories? Right? What's your favorite genre? I don't even read genre? anymore. Yeah. You don't need anymore. No. We were wow. About, we were talking about that in the car. That's, that's unexpected. <laughs> really? It's going to be fun. No, it's going to be great. 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 Now, I, honestly, I said to yeah. Shana, you know, I don't even read anymore. It does not bring me joy. I don't like it. And um, no, that's I, fine. Yeah. And so, and I knew you were going to do this thing. Yeah. And I was like, mm, okay. Let's see, <laughs> see where this goes. No, this I don't read though. I mean, I no, I know. I can't. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. Mm. I don't have an inside voice. Okay. Um, I used to be like avid reader, yeah. but obviously the way content is pushed consumed. out, consumed, mm. it's like uh, it's just easier to binge my favorite show than mm. to read a book or wait for the adaptation of a book mm. to become a show. So that's what I'm saying. So like, let's just see where but this goes. My, yeah. Yeah. But let's my favorite genre is dystopia. Yo, uh, this girl is dark. I mean, I already think we're living in a dystopian yeah. society. <laughs> but my favorite genre is dystopia. My favorite dystopian book is Fahrenheit 451. Oh, hey, which, sorry, hey. Michael B. Jordan, you butchered oh, yeah, that's the adaptation. Movie. Movie, too. But I mean, I've read that book. Both like, movies are terrible. Yeah, both I've movies. read it like three times. Mm. But that 1984... 
Um, you like that? Oof. I mean, that book is easy. Oof. Big brothers watching you guys. I, I, think, I, I needed a ma- when I was, like, finished the book. I was like, okay, I, I need to go watch kittens and puppies now. <laughs> so, how was so, so let's just quickly. So basically, we're gonna read some of the social media interaction okay. and then just mm. sort of you react, you vibe, whatever, okay. and you okay, take cool. it from there. So lost with underscore c x double n x. Wow! Said, wow! Lost. <laughs> Lost with underscore C X double N X. I just Rizan loves underscore. I don't. So I, that's really why I had don't. to choose that one. I Said really don't. fiction, more specifically to do with the supernatural. So um, mm. I think that was like uh, fantasy, more fantasy yeah. type. Um, yeah, yeah. Then Kaylee Storm said crime fiction. Ooh, so nice. I think nice. people are very much uh, like. Trying to go away from the, I, the, I, the like the, Juju, the no, that's his nickname, no? Yeah, Junae J- Joseph. Junae Joseph, he's our favorite. So Jay's <laughs> underscore Joseph underscore, underscore athlete, underscore. athlete mm-hmm. all, <laughs> says the ones that have movies so that I can just watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> But I actually want to go back to the point where you said the way media, the way you're consuming now makes yeah, it I difficult read, to read. I read mm. way less than I used to. I'm mm. like a two books a week type of person, and now it takes me months to finish one book because I'm like, oh, there's just so much. Stuff so we have on. a friend that mm. that mm. that struggled to actually watch the podcast for a long time. Uh, <laughs> Why? How? What was the struggle? Yeah, because yeah, 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 he, con- yeah, because yeah. he consumed our TikToks. Oh. So he assumed the Actually, short TikToks version in general. on yeah. TikToks okay. in general. Yeah. So he would only make it to 10 minutes, or 12 mm. minutes of the podcast. And then it just, the attention, attention just spend. went. Yeah, that's mm. a problem. And uh, the... It's weird to see, not weird, but it's a good point out that this can actually affect not just the way we consume visuals, but just the read. ability to read. Because mm, yeah. reading is actually sitting down uh, or yeah. laying down and focusing, and on, focusing one thing. on one thing for mm. a long time. So mm. how how he and his wife actually also similar story, how he sort of got through that is he goes to chum. And he watches us when he's training. On the training. Oh, okay. So, so then his wife has a similar story where also struggled to sort of read certain books. She consumes the audiobook. Okay. Okay. So that's how you sort of still stay connected with your mm-hmm. bibliophile nature mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You just you consume mm-hmm. the stories in a different, different way. Mm-hmm. Um, so so the question that I want to sort of go with is if you could classify your own life journey into a genre. What would you? A shit show. Dystopian. Gilead. Gilead. Oh, yeah. Handmaid's mm. Tale is dark. Uh, the Haunting of Link's House. If... What? <laughs> <laughs> Lemony oh. Snicket. Unfortunate series of unfortunate events. events. Mm. No, no, that's, um, that's a different question yeah. that you're answering there. What is the title of my oh, okay. <laughs> but, but it can be the title. <laughs> no, but okay, but then okay, like feel free to expand why you're saying this. Okay, like. no, listen. Um I think where I am at now in my life, yeah. um, it's one of those books where Oh wow, shame. Yeah. She's she going okay? to she, she's she's gonna love it, she's gonna survive. <laughs> and then at the end, the 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 journey, because it's not yet the end, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But w- just the evolution Let's of go. me in Let's there. Go. It's mm. it's inspiring. Yeah, I yeah. think. Mm. To me. And that's all that really matters. It's me. It's all about yeah. me. I Jennifer? don't know. Uh, I feel like I'm pivoting somewhere else. Like I wanna take my life in a different direction. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, I'm at this point, like, I do a whole lot of things, and I'm like, oh. You're going to resign. No, I'm not going to resign. She's smart. She's smart. She's smart. She's smart. She's smart. She's smart. Wow. But I'm like, I did all this. I studied all the stuff. Mm. Um, my, all my experience is in a particular field, and I'm like, nah. Mm. And the thing is, I've had a lot of guilt around that, because I'm like, it's a lot of work and effort you put mm. into it. But you know what? You're allowed to change your mind. Absolutely. Because why would I want to spend another 10, 20 years doing something I'm actually not vibing with? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I would say it's an inspirational story. Mm. About <laughs> letting go of your fears and imposter syndrome. I have Ooh, major girl. imposter syndrome. Wow. Okay. Where I think, yeah. oh, yeah. like, like sometimes yeah. I'll ask myself, I would ask myself, who do you think you are to want to do this? Exactly. And I'm like, nope, you can do it. Please. Please, please do it. Like, please, please do the things. Yeah. Mm. It's, 
That's crazy. And you, JP, actually, if you could. Sorry, just me. Uh, are we? If your life was a. Uh... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just like, just to see <clears> this to you. A title or just a genre, right? If you want to give a title or a genre, just to make it easy for you, sir. I think for it. me, the uh, my life has really been um, a journey of exploration. Mm. I think a lot of my. Like, when I grew up, I did everything according to the book, so to speak. Mm. Like the good academics, go to university, get your degree, get your qualification and all those type of get things. Married. Get married. Get um, married. And the timeline of life was mm. in my mind. But I think it really pivoted, like I mentioned earlier, off camera, was yeah. when a personal event happened in my life. It's infidelity in my family. And it really allowed me to explore inwards mm. rather than outwards. So I think... Uh, that was a turning point in my in my journey because it then allowed me to reflect mm -hmm. and again not allow the same things to happen going forward break the cycle uh, break the cycle <laughs> and i think <laughs> that is really for me it would be a kind of documentary journey style film mm -hmm. um and i think that would be it, it will be great to see a lot of the times we see one side of the story mm -hmm. in terms of whether we look at an athlete, a person who professionally, we see them climbing the corporate mm -hmm. ladder, but we don't understand the feeling they feel while being in the corporate ladder. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I think a lot of the times when I was climbing this ladder, you, the thing that is constantly in your mind is that you can actually spend this time doing something else, mm -hmm. but you're not because you you have an idea of where you want to mm -hmm. be. Uh, and if you accept that, that's fine. That, yeah. But don't think that because you're climbing the corporate ladder, everyone else stops their lives. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of the times we, we, we get into the cycle where it's me. Yes, I want to go mm -hmm. there. I want to be there. But I want to be there, but also be everywhere I want to mm -hmm. be. And not realizing that that's actually the sacrifice that you're making. Mm -hmm. So if you are willing to make that sacrifice, 100% do it, do it. climb the ladder okay. that is for you. And if you're not willing to take that step down, that's okay. Mm. But understand what you're missing. Mm. So I think I if you're willing to take it a bit slower, understand what is around you, look at it a bit differently, then mm. make a better decision on that. Because mm. I think a lot of the times, especially in my world, being an A candidate student person, you must, you, you must solve the world's problems. <laughs> All of a sudden, you must now fix You're saving the community. You're saving the community. <laughs> you can do it. And I think it's, it's tough to articulate that, that, that that's not me. Yeah. Yeah. I actually just want to be at home with my family. I want to do, I want to experience this mm. and have that sort of life for me. Mm. It's not going to make your world better, but it's going to make mine a whole lot more. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was, I, was, I was literally like confronted with that reality that you, you get lulled into that where you're chasing your Maslow's hierarchy of mm. needs and at the point where you start getting a bit of success, you then use that as success to give back, which is not to say that give back is the problem. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you haven't actually figured out who you want to be. You yeah. actually just followed the formula. Mm. Yeah. Um, sure, but that's actually... I'm sitting, I'm like, that's so true. <laughs> that's also why I'm kind of at the similar point as you, where I want to sort of change. Yeah. Because I've been following a trajectory of like, five-year-old's dreams mm, were yeah. just projected onto exactly. me by you know people in my life by teachers parents whatever the case may be and now that i know better and this is kind of like full circle moment why we consume stories so that mm. we can see what's out there because mm. we literally we, one of our guests previously said that you can't be what you can't see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. important to it's important to consume the different content, mm -hmm. to read, learn, find out, so that you can also pursue mm. those different yeah. avenues. What's your genre? <laughs> I know you want to. I know you want to. I actually don't. Um, so up until I just said what I was going to, I was going to make a joke and say horror comedy. Hundred percent. Actually, no, it is horror comedy because I do feel like the universe is like a brew in like a scary mask that just like has me like i can't go anywhere <laughs> choke uh, choke like, you think you're safe because you know the black person gonna die first in the movie so so um one of the things that we want to sort of discuss is that you are a published writer 
Shang. Yeah. South published. South published, but you still like mm. it still counts. It's <laughs> imposter syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> See how it comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, yeah just like tell us more um, about that. Um, that was okay. So I was married, married young, Muslim. You know, you know the Muslim vibes. Yeah. Muslim vibes. <laughs> you know, it's like gotta get married the minute you. T- it's a thought in your head. In a way, married young, divorced young, and. I just had a lot on my chest. Like, I was expecting for this person to give me closure. Mm. And then I'm like, I must actually provide my own closure. Rough. So then I started writing. I started just putting everything out there. And honestly, when I was done with that book, I felt like a million times lighter. It was like poison leaving my body. Wow. Every word was poison leaving my body. And when I was done, I'm like, oh, okay. I did. Firstly, I did that. Like I finished yeah. it and it's like I actually managed to articulate and put everything I felt and thought into onto paper. And that helped it helped my healing journey tremendously. Mm-hmm. Like honestly. And mm-hmm. I mean, it, there's some rough stuff in there. My mother read it. She's like, I never knew. I never mm. knew. She's like, I never knew you were yeah, going through this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, she cried. Mm. She's like, I can't believe my baby went through all of that. And you kept, uh, you, yeah. she's like, you always seemed like you were just doing okay. Mm. Gotta be the strong one. I'm the eldest. You gotta put up that front yeah. that, you know, I got this. I'm the one that's doing the things that no one else in the family did. I'm mm. the first one to do this, the first one to do that. Yeah. And I made it difficult for myself. Like, I just decided I'm going to take this upon myself. Mm. And then I'm like, um, but you don't need to. They must sort themselves out. Yeah. You just worry that you're healthy and healed yeah. and can't pour out of an empty cup. Mm. And I was just emptying myself for everyone. Yeah. And that poured back into me. Mm. It's tough because that's also one of my, per, I'm like one of my love languages is serving people mm. and yeah. just like helping. So I think like for me it's also tough that way that because I keep wanting to help yes. but not realizing that sometimes. Hey, but they must help mm. themselves. As a, as a, you're actually you're <laughs> enabling and crippling yeah. them mm. to not help themselves. Mm. <clears throat> so with obviously because uh, your book is called Lost and Found. Again. Yeah, so it's like you don't want people to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I, know, we... <coughs> I know, like, everyone's like, why didn't you promote it? I'm like, because, oh. cause, like, you're not going to like that I'm about to say this, but Please I do. saw you perform. <gasps> yes, you're shaking. Because I feel like I was there the same night performing. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was <laughs> that was interesting. And just to sort of shift the spotlight away from you, so I we, like we did some stalking, right? And I just want to comment on because you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hi, Nabila. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome, welcome. welcome. So, so you you also write a bit, right? Um, just like you dabble, mm. right? If you if mm. if you do say so, if mm. I do say so, <laughs> for me, so, yeah. okay. But what I do want to sort of like highlight is in your writing, you incorporate Arabic. You incorporate mm. these, you know, what was, what's it? Um, t- ah, you see the Ramadan? No, no, no. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, is it, uh, what's the word? What's the word for <laughs> Arabic letters? Um, oh, the Arabic, the, yeah, the just, tulis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> you just incorporate that. And I'm like, so just why I love it? Just mm. why? Yeah, I love it so much. Are you asking me why yeah. do you love it or why do I do it? Why do you do it? Because, yeah. <laughs> so it's clear that he loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's more why are you doing it? Um, you know what? When when I when China started writing, we started at the same time, mm. right? And what she would do is she would collect all everything I wrote and she put it into a Google Doc for me. And she says, Yeah, when you're ready, here it is. And I cannot I, I don't think she knows what that meant to me because I can always go and I promise you there are things that I've written that I've long forgotten and it's such a healing process so when you read it again you literally like yo I felt that and for a second you feel it again but you're so proud that you're not stuck there anymore and with regards to the I think you know the month from down really it's it's so deep for me and I thought it would just be a beautiful way of representing that in writing mm. and it was just it just happened i think so i think Rizan and i spoke about this like in school we learned shakespeare for example sure. and we learned these other languages and then we get taught 
or the context of the word that is used. Even if it's a made up word, we get yeah. told he was used in, he felt that this emotion in this sure. frame. And when we see things like that, where you put your own words in or Arabic words in, it, it, it gives the, the, the reader the ability, hey, but what does this mean? Now mm. you're going, look, mm. oh, well, how does this affect, what mm. does this person mm. feel at that time? Mm. And it almost allows us to explore our own culture a little bit. Because yeah. we spend so much time reading these books of other people and sure. interpreting mm. their things that we didn't actually give ourselves the time yeah. to read these stories yes. mm. in the context. Because I think if we were able to have more literature of District 6 time, oh. Yeah. Written by Cooking. those people Cooking. in the way that they felt, and then mm. we have to now go understand the yeah. political dynamic at that time. What were these people feeling? We would be more connected to that <sighs> moment. Totally. And I think uh, giving that opportunity mm. in that writing, and I know you, uh, we 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 going over yeah. there, <laughs> but giving that, giving the reader the opportunity to do that is mm. amazing. And I think mm -hmm. should be more encouraged in any Absolutely. space. JP, I know you want to go to the games, but I just need to sit with you. No, because, okay, so two things, two things, two things. No. Number one is like, luckily what you were saying was in regard to Shakespeare. Now. Mm. Shakespeare made so many words up and I was just part of the English language. Yes. Mm. Right? And so I, so I have this one person on Instagram that like shares poetry with me. And so she writes English and Afrikaans, but when she writes in Afrikaans, it's that. Uh, Caps Africa. Okay. So it's like, it's not savor, it's really mm. like, and I'm like, I love this poem so much mm. more because it's, it's true, it's mm. you. Mm. And so it's just like, I'm in the space now where I want to see that, like, you mix the elements because that's who you mixed. Mm. Yeah. You, you that's are. That's who you yeah. are. That's who you are. And yeah. that's, and that, and, and, the the people of that time and that spaces they didn't have to fit into a box they they that's yeah. who they were exactly. yeah. so yeah. so why should we and so yeah. we also had a previous guest that said like Afrikaans is bass Afrikaans Yo. is bass so yeah. being yourself that's like literally where it's at so with that the second yeah. question <laughs> from the social media is who is your favorite local author sorry just quickly oh, just quickly just quick. sorry sorry favorite just local author favorite local author yeah yeah you have to say Nikki. You have to say Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Nikki Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> what is the name of what's something? Her second something book is or... out. <laughs> Third one is coming. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. The what's the what's yeah. the title? Something uh, September. Sabrina September is a liar. Wow. And then Stop Running Tori Baker. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say stop running <laughs> someone, yeah. someone. Something like that. <laughs> okay, quite now. Add the add the plug, we plug, um, we plug mm. our friends here. So so um I just want to quickly read this one. So this is Amber Corrales and she said, Not gonna lie, I don't know many. I need a dummy's guide to essay authors. Mm. Okay. And, Same ish. Yeah. And 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 we there is actually quite a number of them. Mm. It's just like I think they are they don't look like us. Mm. That's probably yeah. why. Mm. No, but when you listen to us, it recently I read Shana's book. So did I. Five. Yeah. 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 Shana which five. was, Ooh, which was in hard. It was. I, no, took I'm breaks. Like, I took breaks because yeah. I was like, oh, this is a lot. So he, he just he so said that. I literally said that before. Like, he, he asked me, did, did I, did I, I, it was hard to read. Hard. Mm. But it was also written beautifully. Mm. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. It, mm. it was tough, but it had to be done that yeah. way. Yeah. I think. And I think there's so much more that wasn't said because you yeah, can only put you so, can only much, put in so much in it. Yeah. Um, but your, I follow her on Instagram, obviously. Mm. And just to yeah. see her now, knowing what we know, mm. you know, it's... Fucking but I brilliant. also read um, Mia Arden's... I see, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that was the other one. But right? those, there was a lot of metaphors. Like, I feel like I'm a very dumb person. But I'm not dumb. But, like, a lot of the metaphors Imposter. just went over my head. Mm. Because she just writes in a video. So, so that's the thing. So that's like my statement is basically we need more so that it can basically become that way. We have the subculture for it. Because mm -hmm. now we kind of we're reading it because it's a South African author. We're mm -hmm. reading it because it's someone that we might know. Mm -hmm. Not actually we're reading it because we maybe like that genre. We like that mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, inshallah, we can get more okay, writers. Yeah. You know, I'm I am working on a we book. We all started a book already. <laughs> We've all started. I am working on a book. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's <laughs> early stages. Um, Please, keep going. But it's difficult. The thing is, when I started writing one of my novels, I set it for some reason in New York. And then I was like, 
But he oh. went to the camp. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> mm. And then I just changed the setting and I'm like, mm. it's in Cape Town. Like, but because when I described places, I'm like, oh, but I know where this is. So it's easy for me yeah. to describe. Mm. And that's what I started but let's, doing. But let's, let's just as we encourage, um, let the holidays lift the WhatsApp group. Can we get the books out of the drafts, please? Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm Jeez. pushing. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but that's like a trilogy. It's going to take time. <laughs> I just <laughs> with the uh, writing the book thing. So for me, um, I would only write about myself, mm. what I know, my life mm. experience, because I feel I'm the expert there, you know. Mm. And um, I've got like one paragraph, <laughs> so hopefully. <laughs> so just like lastly, on the sort of local uh, stories, whatever. In high school, right? You read, or hopefully you read some local books obviously they force feed the mm. tequila mockingbirds the but i read Scott the district Roger. six one what was the district six buckingham one? palace, buckingham palace. Yo, so i literally was gonna bring it up now that is that is <laughs> what did my... i read a long did... time ago guys <laughs> yeah, buckingham palace was good so yeah. that so that I is to that. this day one of my favorite experiences reading a book okay because i saw my parents my aunties yeah. my uncles their life in that book mm. I mm. could understand them so much better it because they grew up in, dress, uh, in District yeah. 6 in those like close quarters mm. establishment yeah. and stuff. And they had the uh, similar stories of the Muna Moyes, the mm. Muna Lielik, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Mr. Dieter Katzens and stuff like that. It was like, please, like, I was a shameless plug. Like, if you have that book or if you see the book, read it. It is going to make yeah. you laugh, cry, who feel the feels. I don't even know who wrote it. Rick. Something. Yes, yes. I was hoping you were going to go more deep. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. I think it is. I think his name is Rick something. Rick right? something. Rick something. Rick something. Just Sorry. Note that. We'll get that. Rick we'll get that. Yeah. Let's see. But my book is. It's going to be fantasy. Mm. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Because the thing Let's is, go. you grow up. And you can, you're watching movies and things, mm. but you only see a representation of white heroes. Mm. And I'm like, we need some colored heroes up in here. Mm. We need some colored villains. What did you call your colored hero? Um, Nabila. Actually, her name. Is that his I'm giving a lot of uh, her name. My main character, her name is Anushka. Mm. Mm. Love that. My name is Anushka. That is a very. V S Anushka. That's a, I, just, I just came up with the name. Okay. So it's Anushka mm. and Sufi, and they're going to go mm. on this magical adventure, and Ooh. they're going to need to defeat the villain. You realize nice. now you're going to have to write. No, yeah, I have to write. write. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you guys can uh, now please can hold me nice. accountable. Nice. Love it. Oh, I love it's it. going to. Because the thing it. is, I was thinking you always hear about. Um, Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what we got? Have we yeah. got some mythology? And I started Thank doing you. research on African gods, goddesses, Love. mythology, law. So that's like the main thing. has been putting this out into the world. Sure, I've yeah. been like planting the So he's, I'm glad that, uh, that like somebody you. is actually doing this. Because I genuinely believe. You see, like, for example, in Japan, anime and how popular anime is, mm. we have the content. Yeah. We just need to yeah. research it, and write it. Yeah. Like the the yeah. medium exists, we just need. To and there is a lot I didn't even know. There were, I didn't so know. So many languages, and people read subtitles. Yeah. Bro, like I wanna I wanna watch a show in Venda in Speedy. Mm. I wanna watch that because it's gonna be subtitles. So like yeah. uh, like don't tell me we can't do that. Don't be lazy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so so um, are we gonna go to the bowl or do you wanna? Do one more social media interaction. No, go to the bowl, sir. Gonna go to the what bowl. What bowl? So this is the games bowl. And the design's gonna say which one are we going to be doing today. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is our very, very infamous game at this point in time. A okay. series of hypothetical questions, right? And this game is called Say My Now. Seminar. So so our producers basically just create these scenarios for us and you just have to imagine, okay. play mm -hmm. along, answer honestly. Yeah. It's usually very, very wild. So JP's going to start this. Sure. Sorry, he says it's What's the best. What's it called? Say my now. Say my now. now. You know, yeah. say my now. You know, it's kind of people like... Say my now. Say my now. Yeah. <laughs> Let the... Sing it. Yeah. <laughs> say my now. A fantasy creature could be brought to life. What creature would you bring to life? Why is my mind going to pick at you? 
<laughs> like, I, I was first thinking, no, that person's that's dangerous. Why don't I have a good fantasy creature? <laughs> <laughs> that's dangerous. Why Do you have any fantasy creatures that you either watched or read about that you would? That's wild, actually. That's quite, that's quite. Oh, a lot. Oh, you're not asking me, sorry. No, you can give your one reason. Kick it oh. off. No, because I was thinking like, Something that can grant wish, uh, wishes, like like, like a Aladdin. Aladdin's king, <laughs> like a gene. Don't mess with gene. Uh, yeah. So I, so I wasn't gonna go Aladdin's king. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just something that can, like something that can, like you know, like like the Dragon Ball, the the, the dragon the from dra- Dragon Ball. Oh, okay. Why not bring Appa <laughs> from Up? <gasps> the big fly. You are exactly that. You brought up the movie. I'm traumatized all over. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Walk oh, that back. I could, you know the the never ending story, <gasps> that um, flying dog thing. Wolf. Oh, I loved that. No, that was one of my there we go. Movies. Okay, that's a deep cut for our youngsters. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I, was, I was about to say it's that like movie. we are not old enough for that. Like, uh, so I'm not, but I do know the dog, the flying dog thing. Yeah. You're talking about. And I also know the song because of Stranger Things. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's similar to that bice flying mm. bison thing yeah, in, yeah, Avatar. Yeah, in Avatar. Yeah, in Avatar. And similar to, is it my neighbor Totoro? Sorry, I'm an anime person. Oh, sorry. yes. Sorry, I'm I don't know that. I'm an anime person. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm you know, Bila? Maybe the dragons in Avatar, I was just thinking about uh, them now. They're so lovely. Mm. Or um, Train Your Dragon, those dragons. How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, so cute. Oh. Dragons in general. Yeah. Dragons in general. Love yeah. Dragons. 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 Not making all dragons, dragons are just cute. They flame throwing creatures yeah, that can destroy this world. Not they all dogs tamed. are like cute yeah. looking, but okay. we love all dogs. Okay. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh <laughs> <laughs> we just like this is fluffy and it's so Oh, tiny. Okay, it's four. So each of us are gonna get one. Cuddles is a burbo. <laughs> <laughs> Say, so, now, you had the power to magically mix three apps to like improve functionality. Mm. Mm. What would they be? So China does this with WeChat, right? So Yo, in China, WeChat. WeChat, you can buy, you can message, you can do okay. everything. Like so, like you like saying based on our current mm. uh, setup, what would we want to make a WeChat type environment? Ooh. Okay, but I was thinking that right, WhatsApp. Check mm-hmm. a 6060, but I think you can do that already because mm-hmm. I have um 6060 as a channel. Push. There we go <laughs> uh, to tell you when it's offline <laughs> 55 minute notification. Apparently, apparently, people use Eskom so push to chai scanners and stuff like that. No, you wow. lie. I was chased on the chat once. Yo, Yo that it was so weird. Like, because the power didn't. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> please explain, please explain. It was so. Oh, it was so weird. So uncomfortable. Um, so you can go into Ask My Street, so right? Yes, yes. So our power didn't come back on. So now the first thing is like, Ask My Street. Like, uh, once what's yeah, happening? Yeah, Why are we not back like, on? Now they know what and, and then initially, like, I'm, a, Yo, what number I'm, a, are you? I'm such an old I'm such an old person that my name, my profile name is my full name. Oh. And then I quickly changed it to just some, yeah. some other name because then I'm like, oh my God, guys, like, I mean, we're sitting in the dark and mm. then this guy's like, don't worry, Shahina, because my name was... <laughs> He's like, don't worry, Shahina. He's like, I can, I can keep you company. And I'm like, and then, Ew. but because it's a public chat, nightmare people feel. were like commenting on this guy. And he's yeah, like, yeah. he was like, but they were like, no, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> This is not what this is for. <laughs> Do you know who he is? I don't know who he is, but what? he's like probably in the next road. Big, big, rock. Scary, man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> He's the best, yeah. that, I did not expect yeah. that. Oh. Don't worry, I, I still got snacks. I still got oh. food. I still got food if you want to come eat something. I'm like, oh no, sir. At this point, how long was your electricity off? Um, I mean, like in an terms hour, of an while hour. you were going hungry. And He's like, what is he talking about? Yeah, I was like, no. Oh, wow. Don't do that. Uh, that. That's a great trio, though. That's a great trio. So this is WhatsApp, Checker 66. And, and it's comes to push. Actually, yeah, let's throw it to... On TikTok, on on IG, in the comments, okay, yeah. please. Uh, on YouTube also, in the comments. Like, what three? Let's see. If you can magically mix three apps together, what would they be? Oh, wait, that would be quiet. That would be quiet. Okay, so, uh, please do take... I'll give you one more. One more. One each. One oh, each. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. 
So, um, Semina, um, you could know the truth behind any secret or mystery. Which would it be? Whose handwriting is this? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine, but don't do that. Like, we've, we've is evolved. It yours, though? It's not mine. I'm just um, asking. Mm -hmm. I have two I judge people mysteries. on the address. Yes. yes. Two secrets. Like, who really built those pyramids? <laughs> Yo. Mm. How did they carry that stuff? And the thing is, they did this thing where they did, like, um, a, a, some type of simulation of, like, how could we do it now mm. using our technology that mm. we have? They can't build it. Mm. So who built it? Mm. And then those things on the Easter Island, those heads. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Who put those heads there? <laughs> and what's underneath is the, is the rest of their body? And uh, they're thinking, they're like, what? How deep does it go? How deep does it go? I want to know. Um, wow. I have questions. I have answers. <laughs> no, it's great. Mine would be like, who really killed Tupac? <gasps> they're going to find out, bro. Like, like. <laughs> So you have to put But is it like is he really in Puerto Rico? Is, is it like it is a uh, like, human Elvis type thing? Like, I, like, like I wanna it. know. Like I wanna know the story, the the real biopic yeah, uh, I think yeah. that's that's what one would, uh, that sits with me. Okay. <laughs> is that no, because I was going to be on that same, like, who killed JFK, but I don't actually don't care about oh. you. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about you. Okay. Mm. You're actually, you're, I, 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 your answers are okay. 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 I'm so okay. Sorry. Yeah, nice. No. Okay. Okay. Last one. Last one. Last one. Say my now. You were either the first person on earth or the last. Which would you choose? <gasps> Ooh. How long do you have to be this person? <laughs> <laughs> Are your friends coming? <laughs> Yo, that's a wild question. Shussy. Sure. Yo, that's a, that's a would you first. rather. I would be yeah. first. Because I know you, you guys first? are coming. And eventually there'll be more people. But if I were the last, I'd be the only one. And I'd miss but you guys. But you wouldn't know if someone's coming. Mm. How would you know? Because I would hope and pray. Make do. But then I would do it for if I, no, I'm just going to assume. But if you're the only... So either way, yeah. you can't So, fuck. so yes. okay. I was going to say, I was like, uh, are you an extrovert or are you mm. an introvert? What do you think? <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you be the last one, right? Me too. I Same. think I'm Why the last I? one. Uh, we no, know he's going, <laughs> <laughs> I'm competing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choosing last. Yeah, I'm choosing okay. last person because yeah. everyone's gone. Yeah. That's, ama that's amazing. Yeah. I, I oh, I see. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. When hard lockdown ended, I was a little bit sad. Lucky story lockdown. Let's yeah. lockdown. That, that, that moment you were like, your 2020 was like a bad year, but was it a bad year for me? Yeah. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. No. Yeah. Shayna is the most introverted person mm -hmm. I have ever met. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's so cool because I don't know many introverts. So when I meet an introvert mm -hmm. and then I see Shahina traits, I'm like, mm, we can vibe. We can, I've got <laughs> we one can of do you. this. I've got one of you. So, yeah. so, yeah. I, so I genuinely think, and someone actually brought this to my attention and I was like, whoa. So I, I genuinely believe that I was always an extrovert mm. and then the pandemic like happen and I'm an introvert. Yeah. Like I don't want to see mm. people really. Like mm. this, this is actually this is out of body experience for me. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like programming. Mm. Mm. The fact that I'm able to do this, but yeah, actually, but just I, we speak I get, about this. I get yeah. soups and anxious, oh. like mm. soups anxious. So I'm actually like an introvert. That's why I would want to be the last mm. person. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all be alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Thank we find being alone. We I know. Know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> I just like looking at JP. We know. So... <laughs> we noticed. <laughs> we love it for you guys. <laughs> so, so we like to give... Hashtag broke back. At the end, we like to give the... Oh, Can we not guess, get the broke back? If it's back, the please. guess an opportunity it's, it's to pocket. do two it's things. Pocket. JP. We're going to send a shout out. <laughs> so the first one <laughs> is to sort of plug any pages that you would projects, like the so. audience to sort of follow and catch you on any projects that you're working on that you want the audience to like know if you don't feel like sharing any of that don't uh if you just want to sort of like, like you said with with nikki's book if you want to promote that that's mm. also fine um yeah, that's the first first thing just promote plug whatever you want to do right and the second thing is what would you 
<clears throat> like if this kind of big I had to end now, right? Mm. What would you want it to be remembered as? Um So both of those things. So both of those things. Let it sit okay. with you. Okay. I don't have anything to plug. What is no, that's fine. Oh, okay. The plug. You can plug thing. Nikki's book though. Like yeah, really definitely. Um, I mean, if you're into steamy rom coms, mm. yeah, like, it was smart. Very, she called it. It was smart. very steamy. Mm. Like I had to put my fan on. But I was like, Whew, okay, yeah. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> um, but it's also weird when you're reading and something you know from you know the person. And like, mm. oh my god, your mind is fourth girl, but I love it. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah. yeah, just read the books. Mm. That's lovely. And then, what would you like the the podcast to be remembered as? Um, for being a safe space for uncomfortable conversations. Nice. Exactly that. Stop yeah. being in my head. It's really annoying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. So, okay. I incepted you. Yeah. Yeah. Me, that was brilliant. Can we just throw it in? So what we normally actually ask the audience is like to give a message to your younger selves. Mm. This is a long time ago when you were young. What are you saying? It's okay. so, so long ago. So a younger self. A younger. Okay. It doesn't have to be young mm. self, just a younger self. So I think just like if you if you resonate with that, maybe mm. you can then answer that one. Just give a message. You know, um, when I think about my younger self, and I don't think about her often, actually, mm. because I think she went through a lot. Mm. and it was really hard and it's only manifesting now how hard it was but I am no longer her I am such a stronger version of her that I am able to deal with whatever she was not able to deal with Mm. and um, I think I have two girls right and when I see these two uh, my most important thing is I never want them to doubt my love as their mother and with that and with their foundation in their faith they i i need them to believe no matter what happens to you you will be okay because you can whatever it is it's going to be okay and to let go of all those expect that external expectations Mm. and just always follow whatever feels right for you because if it feels right it is right Mm. so I think that's good. That like stuff. That. Yeah, that's great. You know, these wild days that like that is actually the question that was supposed to ask. <clears throat> you could leave a message for your loved ones. Mm. <laughs> oh, is, your loved ones. Oh. Yeah, and then you just answered <laughs> the question. <laughs> like, but I think just again, and then, and I'll leave Design to do the, the official out. I think for my side, thank you. Um, even though this is our podcast, yeah. you actually created a space for us to have this conversation mm. today, mm. and I think. Yeah, <laughs> I did say that a little yeah. bit, right? And I think from my side, <laughs> and I think from our side, just as a team, thank you again. Um, thank you for coming thank out. Thank you for having us. Though. Yeah, totally. And I know, I hope, I know you guys are a bit nervous without the, the communicator in yeah. The, yeah. On the on the couch, but we really had a great time today. I'm Aww. so happy. Thank All you so much. <laughs> I think I just want to say from me, thank you for seeing us, man. You know what I mean? Like you start a podcast and you're like, yeah, nobody's going to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> and then people actually listen. And we got so many messages. Mm. And I do feel that we've let, we've let down a little a few people I because they, they so. wait. Some people mm. email us long as mm. emails thanking yes. us for the stuff we're talking about. But to be seen I want to our email. is so... <laughs> <laughs> we're not relevant. I'll send you an email. So thank yeah, we don't you have the juice like that for anymore. inviting us. <laughs> yeah, no. It's only a pleasure. <laughs> Thank exactly. you for coming here. So if you, you know, am I allowed to look at this camera? <laughs> yes. That's your one. In the oh, eyes. Please. In the eyes. If you like this content, mm. you want to see more, mm. please do, you mm. know, rate us on the audio platforms. Uh, but mostly just subscribe. Mm. Right? Like, share, comment, hit the notifications. You can see more. Because we are. Peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>